This is an AU Optronics uh, M215HWO3 uh, display panel, or rather, what remains of it. The panel was failed, uh, I got this from work, and uh, I've just got the backlight assembly. I figured uh, I'd make a little attempt at trying to drive this. I don't have a driver, I don't have anything other than the display assembly. I do have a plastic that's going in front, but I don't have the LCD panel. And since, since the old uh, ASUS models have turned out so good, I figured we'd reuse this LED strip for something, because there's quite a few LEDs in there, and they should be of reasonable quality. Uh, this thing comes with a 6-pin connector, and I've verified that the two middle pins are should be the positive uh, feed, and uh, I believe the all the two pairs of outer pins should be individual LED strings. Now I haven't counted how many we have here, but uh, there's going to be reasonably high voltage go going into this hand wedge, uh, somewhere around 30 volts maybe. But we'll find out. I'm just going to drive it from my leverage repair supply. And thanks to the sheer awesomeness, which is the TTI EX752M power supply, I can charge my lead acid battery while driving a high voltage string of LEDs at the same time. Alright, so I've dimmed the lights a bit, so let's turn this on and see what happens. I've got a 10 milliamp current limit and I'm just slowly turning the voltage up. We're at, uh, at 20 volts, 23, 25, 27, 28, 29, 30. I would expect there to be some light by now. 34, 35, 36, 38, there we go. 40 volts, 41, 44, 45, 47, 40. There we go, we're pushing 20 milliamps at uh, 47.9 volts. And this is reasonably bright, I'm not certain these LEDs are built to handle a lot more than this. Does the light pretty make a difference? Indeed. So that means that we've got uh, one, two, three, four segments of 50 volts of air about to drive. Alright, so now just uh, strip the wires and uh, connected everything up in parallel. These uh, LEDs should be relatively well matched, so I don't think we're going to explode anything. And I'll just start at about 30 volts and we'll work our way up. 36, 40. And there we go. We do indeed have a bit of light, it's about 10 milliamps, at 44 volts. All oh, these strips seem to be very well matched, none of them really stand out as being brighter than the other, even though it seems as if this one's bright on the camera, but I think that's what I got to do with the light. Yeah, there we go. I wouldn't wager this thing to handle more than maybe 5 watts in total, and uh, yeah, probably not even that. Let's see. Yeah, that, that's 50 milliamps there. Wouldn't really expect this thing to go much brighter. And now we've just got the white plastic which goes on the back reinstalled, so let's see what it does. Well, that makes a big difference. This is quite pleasantly bright, I must say. Well, let's add one of the diffusion layers. Now that really smooths everything out. Big difference. It's kind of difficult to make it in camera, but. Uh, but the smoothness of the light just becomes a lot better with this one installed. In fact, it looks as if everything gets brighter when you put this thing in, so this one might actually aim the light a bit better, prevent it from spreading out as much. So there you go, that's how to drive the LED backlight of a an AU Optronics M215, M215 HW03. I think it's uh, maybe a 19 inch uh, or 21 inch panel, I'm not entirely certain. Well, it's got two one inches at the top, it's a 21 inch. And I'm putting it at 200 milliamps at uh, 51 volts right now, all strings in parallel, and it doesn't seem to be showing any signs of exploding. It's pretty nice quality lights. 
And would you know it, that if you go online, you can actually find a data sheet on this thing where it actually specifies an LED operation current of 60 milliamps at 52 volts. Jeez, this thing is going to be bright like the sun. So, let's, let's push it. We'll be lit by a single 22 watt. Uh, I might, yeah, it should be a 22 watt uh, compact fluoro right now. Yeah, 23 watts. So that's for reference. Let's crank it. Whoa. Well, that's plenty bright for you. <laughs> That's plenty bright. Sheesh. Definitely put the full array to shame. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Supposed to do 30k hours at that. Huh. Not bad at all. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Cheerio. Never mind that actually, because I'm an idiot since this is 60 milliamps. If the 6 is there, that's 600 milliamps. Whoops. So this is the actual brightness. <laughs> it's still not too bad, but uh, it's certainly not as good as 10 times the power. Good thing is it did supply like, uh, survive like that for about a minute though. It did run relatively hot, but it's cooling down.